Welcome everyone, I'm Mike Smith for Litter Media Live and today is our Pickaway County Special Edition. Our guest today is the Executive Director of the Pickaway County Chamber of Commerce, Krista Bauer. Krista will get us caught up on some of the events that are coming up, what the Chamber's up to in Circleville and Pickaway County. Our interview today brought to you by Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center. Back with Krista Bauer right after this. Find a career you love with Pickaway Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pickaway Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. Back with our special guest, Krista Bauer, again, Executive Director of the Pickaway County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome. Good to have you with us today. Hi. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for having me. I had a chance to uh, visit with Krista here a couple of weeks ago when we did our show live up at uh, Circleville and talked to Mayor Don McElroy that day. Uh, you recently had uh, your annual dinner where some awards were, were uh, presented to some of the top business uh, uh, entrepreneurs in the community. So let's go through that first. Yeah, sure. So um, I think it was like two weeks ago when mm -hmm. we had our annual dinner. And um, we always have three um, awards that we give out. Um, actually, we ask our membership to nominate um, uh, the three awards. There's the Jean Anchor Memorial Retail Service Award. Um, the Business Pride Award, and the Business Person of the Year. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, for the Gene Anchor Memorial Retail Service Award, um, the owners of Wagner's Flowers, mm -hmm. Paul and um, Jennifer Dickey, received that. And um, they're, they're a great community partner. They um, actually, for us, they provide all of our ribbons oh, for wow. our ribbon cuttings. So that's, that's nice. And um, I know they do a lot for... Um, schools if they um, need some decorations or something. So, What was the criteria for the Anchor Memorial Award? Sure. So um, it has, uh, they demonstrate innovation in product or service presentation and or delivery, recognized as an industry leader in their field, demonstrates participation and leadership in civic involvement, displays honorable and ethical operation of the business, demonstrates pride in ownership and facility and um, the businesses um, have no more than 50 employees so recently um, they moved into a new location on mm. Main Street mm -hmm. and um, really it was a uh, main glass for many years wow. so um, they have a, a great area too in the back for their um, delivery vehicle and and it just they they kind of uh, made that area of town look a little brighter there so Next up was the Business Pride Award. Yes. So um, some of the uh, criteria for that, um, they demonstrate a commitment to upholding quality and integrity. Um, they take pride in their business internally and externally. Uh, they, it, they could have renovated a building or ha uh, constructed a new building or, or made improvements, um, recognizing rewarding employees for their success. Um, exceeding all customer service expectations and expanding goods and services offered. So um, for this one, it was Dr. Andrew Palmer and Associates. He's a local dentist. Um, and for anybody who's uh, been in the Circleville area, uh, he built a brand new building at the corner of North Court and um, Walnut Creek Pike, and mm -hmm. it's it's beautiful. I mean, it looks like a barn dominium kind mm -hmm. of with um, rocking chairs on the front, so it, it's yeah. very homey. Um, they have a, a little uh, a waterway with koi fish in the mm -hmm. pond. So, but um, what was great about um, when they came to the the, the dinner? It was almost all of his employees oh, and wow. the other dentists, and, and they um, they were really excited. Yeah. They, it was a great time for them, and so it was nice to see them all get out and and um, celebrate mm -hmm. their achievements. And probably your the equivalent to your entrepreneur of the year, you have a business person of the year. Correct, yes. So um, that was Curtis Christopher. Um, he's a... Uh, he owns several apartments and mm -hmm. other buildings and also um, the newly renovated loft at Pex Hall. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very nice event center um, just at the corner of, or the, the main part of town at the right. corner of Court and Main. Um, um, the criteria for that was the individual must be the company's owner, mm -hmm. obviously, um, have performed outstanding services resulting in advancement and betterment of the company, 
and possess personal and professional characteristics, including honesty, sincerity, integrity, benevolence, and fairness. Fantastic. Yeah. And um, for, for the awards each year, uh, I'm assuming you take nominations. We do. When do those usually start? Um, they start, uh, depending on when the, the dinner is, it's usually early, so about two months before. I think we open them up in February, mm-hmm. and um, it was... Uh, it was kind of slow at first, and we were getting repeat. Right. We, we try to, like, at least have five years between yeah. anyone. So so we got some um, repeat nominations from previous winners. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, that's always great. <laughs> we, we, we love to celebrate our businesses in Pickaway County. But, um, yeah, we had uh, several for each. And, it, you know, it always comes down to the committee meeting and going, oh, this yeah. is a, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> So flip a coin. Is that a part uh, of it? Or? <laughs> kind of, yes. Um, but uh, it was it was very it was a very um, uh, a very great event. And yeah. to hear from all of the winners. Uh, well, I take that back. Curtis, actually, um, his his kids said, you better prepare something to oh. say. So he did um, have some comments at mm-hmm. the dinner and um, it was it was nice. Uh, Circleville, like many communities, has what we would refer to as legacy businesses, businesses that have been around 50, 100 years. Um, But do you see uh, some new entrepreneurs stepping up and and creating business in Circleville? Definitely. We have a lot of smaller businesses. Um, We actually have a lot of businesses that might have started down here Mm. or um, in Waverly. So we have uh, Rainbow Boba which is um, the, the gals that have high five cakes mm-hmm. here. And also they have a rainbow boba in um, Waverly. Uh-huh. They opened, a, a, I guess, a, what do you, another store in right. Circleville recently. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have, uh, so not only just um, smaller coffee shops, um, retail, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, I guess you would say, personal services that mm-hmm. have kind of, um, popped up uh, last year um, we had had like one of our main buildings at court in maine um, had sat empty for mm-hmm. several years um, because of some issues with the owner and um, so it was purchased back in june and now i think um, it might be fully rented there he had one office space um, that he was still looking for a tenant but it's so great to drive by the center of town and see it see activity yeah. see lights and and um so uh kevin stewart bought that and it's it just looks great the the remodeling so yeah i think that um the the sad thing of course you know we have some businesses come and go Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of times and i i think for the last um year there were some folks that um retired Mm -hmm. and nobody took over their businesses so so long-standing businesses like sharf's fashions um which Gosh, had been around for 75 years, I think. Right. They had celebrated mm-hmm. um, their um, anniversary, and and um, the owner retired. And so that's always sad to see. But sure. it's, it's good to celebrate those businesses as well. Of course, as we introduced you, it is the Pickaway County Chamber of Commerce. You have Asheville, Williamsport, uh, so many other uh, smaller communities, and they're – you know, chock full of businesses too. Do you get a lot of the uh, participation at the chamber from some of these outlying communities as well? We're starting to. Um, I think with anything, um, obviously, because Circleville is our county mm-hmm. seat there, and there's more activity there. But um, one of the things um, this past year, we had some openings on our board. And um, we were really looking for folks in those other areas to help us. So um, actually three of our new board members, um, two of them live in the Asheville area, one in Commercial Point Orient area, Mm -hmm. which, I mean, there's a ton of growth in both of those areas. So very excited to work with them. Um, There's a, a, we just had uh, two new members Mm -hmm. from the Asheville South Bloomfield area. So um, yeah, it's, it's exciting to see that growth. As we alluded to our conversation a few weeks back with Circleville Mayor Don McElroy, we asked him this question about development. <clears throat> and, of course, Circleville is a big part of that. But in reference to some of these other communities, the villages of Pickaway County, uh, what 
is the biggest type of development the chamber is seeing? Is it more residential as opposed to business, or is it kind of 50-50? It, um, I'd say it's more like uh, 60-40. Okay. So it's more business. Um, I know that um, there are plans for residential housing apartments. So I know Asheville has a new apartment complex mm-hmm. coming in. There's talk of some more um, homes. Uh, I think the that just all of it hasn't really come together yet. Mm-hmm. But um, at least in the northern part of the county, right. there's a huge explosion of business with um, the intermodal around Rickenbacker off of 104 coming down from Grove City. There's some warehousing there. Um, over, you know, there's the village of New Holland to the west side that's yeah. kind of, you know, they're going to have a lot of activity with the um, battery plant coming mm-hmm. over in um Fayette County. Right. So I think we've seen a lot of things happening around us, mm-hmm. and now we're ready to to, to start yeah. doing some things. Of course, with more uh, residents, uh, residential developments, that usually spurs the need for more business to come about. Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of uh, cooperation do you have with any of the villages or the city in relation to economic development? I mean, do you have a, a seat at that table as well? Um, so far, the chamber hasn't had had much um, involvement. Um, our um, Pickway Progress mm-hmm. Partnership, which is a mouthful, right. the P3, <laughs> yeah, P3 um, yeah. which is the economic wing for the county, um, they have really been involved in that. Um, Ryan Scribner, who's the executive director there, um, I remember when he came on board. That's how old I am. Yeah. And <laughs> He's been around a while. He has. Um, unfortunately, he is moving on mm-hmm. to um, another, um, a great opportunity True. for him. And um, hopefully we will have somebody soon to fill yeah. that um that position, and we're actually um, kind of neighbors in mm-hmm. our in our area in our um, office space. But um, they, uh, as we look at it, they're kind of the the one that helps bring the big businesses in, and mm-hmm. then the chambers working closer with medium to small right. business. Um, so we've had, um, let's see, we've had. Uh, in the last year. So I started in June Uh of last year. And I think since then I've had 16 or 17 ribbon cuttings Mm -hmm. for new members. Uh, And uh, some of those were either they moved or they had a a anniversary, but Mm -hmm. the majority were new businesses in and around, you know, Pickway County. Right. Very exciting. Before we close with some upcoming events that you have coming up, your office, that's kind of a unique setup that you have out at the Ohio Christian University business uh, a building. Right. Yeah. So um, a few years ago, I guess it's it's it started. The idea started percolating um, with a previous uh, president at the university. He was also um, involved in, I think, the Columbus 2020 initiative, and they wanted to um, have a business incubator area, a center. So that's where my office is. That's where P3 is. Um, it's. Uh, Sometimes I feel a little um, like I'm in between two worlds because mm-hmm. they also have college classes <laughs> right. there. But um, but it's it's a good place um, for um, startup businesses. They can rent their office space there and get started. I know um, we in the past, the chamber also hosted um, a consultant for mm-hmm. small businesses um, to come in and help them get their business plan together. So those are a few of the um, hopes and aspirations oh. to kind of bring back and start up this coming year. So to wrap up our visit, there's some upcoming events uh, in the month of May and so yeah, forth. Yeah. So one of the things we've started again is our um, monthly business after hours. We have one tonight mm-hmm. at the Pickway County Banking Center. It's a great opportunity for um you know, business uh, leaders to get together or mm-hmm. small business folks to get together, exchange yeah. cards. Synergy, uh, I believe yes, you call that. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that we do those usually. It's the second Tuesday of the month mm-hmm. um, from like five to seven. We um, we switched it this month because of uh, some banking needs, some yeah. other other okay. things. But um, we're hoping to. Uh, I know I already have several uh other ones planned 
for the year. Um, next month, that we think it will be Adina mm-hmm. at um, one of our uh, local um, sites for uh, their wellness, and then um, Homeland Credit Union um, in July, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also starting back up our women's networking luncheon. So um, we, when, when I started, it was, okay, focus on membership, mm-hmm. get, get our membership back together, and then we'll, we'll slowly rebuild some of right. these things that went on the back burner during COVID. Mm-hmm. So um, I feel like now, okay, I, I've had, you know, a good 11 months yeah. beat under me. Now we can start, uh, you know, it's, it's a little tough sometimes being the, the one person right. wearing a lot of hats, but, um, and then our, uh, our really, uh, another big fundraiser we have is, um, our annual night golf outing. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of folks don't do night golf outing because it's, uh, right. it's, it's fun. <laughs> we have the, the lighted golf balls yeah. and they hit them, you know, uh-huh. they, they light up, but that's, uh, Friday, August 4th at the Pickway Country Club. So more information will be coming on our website. Yeah. Now, uh, during the pumpkin show each year, of course, I know you've only been here one year of the pumpkin show. Um, do you get, um, do you have a booth or something downtown during that? Or? So, um, I guess they had in the past, mm-hmm. um, last year we didn't do it, but, um, I'm a member of the Sunri- Circleville Sunrise Rotary. Yeah, so yeah. we were selling pumpkin <laughs> chili and, and it was, uh, it was a nice day. It mm-hmm. was one of those where it started out chilly in the morning. Uh, sorry, there was a pun, a pun <laughs> unintended. But um, but then by uh, noon, it was very nice. The sun was out. It was a great fall afternoon. So, very good. Yeah. Well, keep us uh, plugged in on what's happening with the Pickaway County Chamber of Commerce. If a prospective uh, member says, I'd like to get involved in the Pickaway Chamber, how would you do that? Sure. So, um, they can go to our website, which is um, pickwaychamber.com. Um, they can call 740-474-4923 or email me um, at chamber at pickaway.com. Very good. Krista, thanks again for joining us. Thank you, Mike. Again, our guest of the Pickaway County Special Edition today, Krista Bauer. She is the new executive director with the Pickaway County Chamber of Commerce. Our interview brought to you by Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center. Don't forget to stay with us. Uh, Dan, Ramey, and I will be back with our daily topics program at 11 o'clock today on Litter Media Live. I'm Mike Smith.